Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Physio. In this module, I want to create a workflow diagram. So I'm on the new area and there is the template that I want. So I'm clicking on that and it's going to come up with some options and I'm going to pick this one and then create. Now it's going to give me some sample data, which I'm going, which I'm going to get rid of as soon as it loads up. So this is just information to help you get to grips with this diagram. So all of this is already preset, gives you an idea of what you can do. But I've highlighted that and deleted it because I want to do that myself. So the stencils on the left hand side that you have is departments. You have a list of departments, stencils, workflow objects, like a person, and then steps, so processes, so task, etc and things like that. So what I'm going to do is a very, very simple flow chart. So if I click, click on this one, workflow objects, I'm going for a person and I'm going to drag that person onto the screen. Now, when you hover over these shapes, you get these little arrows coming out with some different options. These are different stencil options that you can see. If you hover over them, you get like a little preview of what it's going to, going to do. The problem with this is there's no wording on that. You can't actually suss out what, which one it is. So I'm not going to use that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to activate the connector tool, which means when I next drag a shape on, it will be connected to that person shape. So if I go to department and let's bring accounts on. So like so brought accounts on you see the connector arrow comes straight to it and again you've got these these arrows where you can select an option so if you use this all the time I suppose you would get familiar with these options but what I want to do is just take this connector tool off for a second click on the pointer tool and then just double click on that line because I want to type what that is induction that's the induction process so you see that showing on the line and I want to double click on the shape and this is accounts like so so that's the first thing now if I click back on that shape and click back onto the connector tool for a second and come back into this so I've got objects I've got data different things there you've got steps so I want a step task bring task next to that and again I'm going to double click on the line this time I'm not taking the connector tool off but you've got to be careful because what you can do is end up doing that all over the place accidentally. So as long as you get the right symbol, which is that and double click, you can then type, get the right box coming up with a little text box. So in this one, I want to actually type what that task is. So that task is set up pay. That's all that is set up pay. And then I click on that shape and go and get another shape. Go back to department. And uh, let's go to department itself. So let's get that department shape on there. And it'll snap in position. And then type in on the line. So allocate. I'll just put allocate there. And I'll double click on this one. And I'll put department. And then I'm ready for another one. So that's that one. So if I go back to objects, see what else I can get. So we've got different things down here, like documents, user, data, all that sort of stuff. So we've got the guy coming in, induction, going to account, setting up pay, that's a task, allocating a department. So now what we want to do is set up another task. So if we go for task again, this time I'm going to come underneath. So we go down in a circle sort of thing. Now, I didn't have the connector tool. I didn't have that shape connected. I'll just knock that off. Now I've got that connected when I bring that on. Or selected, should I say. That should snap into place like so. so I'll double click on this. This is another task. So what can I have here is IT um, setup. Setup. And then next one come in this way we'll go back to department and select another department say engineering and move that onto there and 
do engineering. Now the line's not there because I've got this not selected. So I'm coming from this one to that one. Point to point I want. So that's that one done. Knock that off. And then you are starting starting work so that's like a little mini flow diagram now for putting titles on and things like that you need to go to design and you've got borders and titles which I'll pick over there and then that comes as a background page you click onto the background and you type whatever you want so work process come back to your main screen there you go bring this down a little bit and get rid of that data graphics window don't need it for now so come across and then also you've got a, another background page where you can select these different ones and create your own so I'll add that so there you go now if you want to move all of this down you could just highlight it and just pick it up as a group and then move it into the middle there so it's nice and neat and there's your work process the background page is sitting there so for example if I just click on that what you can do is you can change the theme on this so that's now gone the same theme as that if I come through to the front everything's gone green looking looks quite cool actually you can see the text instructions quite clearly so you're just creating a basically workflow diagram using all these stencil shapes of which there are many probably too many to be honest but there you go that's the idea behind it so that's all I want to talk about in this little video how you can create a simple workflow diagram using Microsoft Visio so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one